In this video, we're going to explain what unsupervised feature selection techniques are. But first, what is feature selection? Feature selection is basically the act of reducing the number of features you're going to use to build your own machine learning model. You're trying to figure out what data is important and impactful for your model to be accurate. There are supervised and unsupervised techniques. But in this video, we're only going to cover unsupervised techniques. But if you're interested in learning more about supervised feature selection techniques, please check the links in the description below. So what is unsupervised feature selection? Well, in a nutshell, it's techniques where you're using an algorithm to find patterns and similarities in the data without explicit instructions. Basically, without telling the algorithm what's good and what's not. The techniques allow you to explore and discover important characteristics of the data without using labeled data. These techniques are like giving a computer a puzzle and letting it find the connections all on its own. They'll organize the data and identify similarities without any help from you. In this video, we're gonna explain techniques like PCA, ICA, NFM, TSNE, and autoencoders. Let's start with the first technique, PCA. Principal component analysis is a way to understand and simplify data. It helps us find the most important parts of the data. Imagine you have a big picture with lots of details. PCA helps us identify the main shapes or colors that stand out the most. It's like finding the key elements that represent the whole picture without getting lost in the smaller details. Here's what your code might look like. All you gotta do is import your data, call the PCA function, and you're done. Programming blindly is easy. So an output might look like this graph. The graph shows the cumulative variance and helps you determine how many features or principal components represent your data. The x-axis represents the number of features and the y-axis shows the cumulative explained variance. Independent Component Analysis, or ICA. This is a technique that helps us understand how different things combine together. Imagine you have a box of mixed up sounds like people talking, music playing, cars honking. ICA will help us separate those sounds and figure out what each sound is by itself. It's sort of like listening carefully and picking out the voices or instruments from a noisy crowd to understand what each person or thing is saying or playing. Look at this code. See how easy it is to perform ICA? Now look at this output. Non-negative matrix factorization, or NMF, is a method that helps us break down big numbers into smaller positive numbers. So imagine you have a big number that represents a whole picture, and you wanna understand what parts make up that picture. So NMF helps us find smaller positive numbers that when you combine them, recreate that big number or picture. So it's sort of like taking apart a puzzle and then discovering how the smaller pieces fit together to make up that whole picture. Just like the other models, this function is simple to call and implement and it'll do all of the heavy lifting for you. You don't even need to know what you're doing to implement this model. And then the output would look something like this. T distributed stochastic neighbor embedding is a machine learning technique that helps us understand how things are related to each other. Imagine you have a bunch of pictures of animals and you wanna see which ones are similar to each other. Well, TSNE helps us create a map where similar animals are placed closer together. TSNE helps us visualize and explore similarities. Here's the code. Again, super simple to call the function and implement the model. The output would look something like this. An autoencoder is a type of artificial neural network that learns how to copy things. So imagine you have a drawing of an animal and you want the machine to learn how to draw it by itself. So an autoencoder helps the machine learn by giving it the drawing and then asking to create a copy. It's sort of like teaching the machine how to imitate the drawing so it'll learn to draw the animal all by itself. Autoencoders are useful for teaching machines to understand and recreate things like drawing, pictures, or images. Here's some code that shows you how to implement an autoencoder. And here's the output. 
That's some quick and dirty unsupervised feature selection techniques. We did it all in less than five minutes, so I probably didn't cover a lot. But basically, moral of the story, let the functions do the heavy lifting for you so you don't have to do anything. All right, that's all for today, folks. Thanks for watching.